What's up guys, it's Wolf, your one and only, and today I'm going to be playing Adventure Quest 3D. Now, I did play the 2D version way back then. I'm pretty sure this just now hit Steam. I know it's been talked about for a while, but it's just now hit Steam. So I'm going to be trying it out and give you guys pretty much my first impression on it because I've never played this version before. So I'm hoping they did something, you know, kind of unique with this one. So without further ado, we're going to jump straight into the game right now. As you guys can hear, there's no music at all until you actually probably get into the game. So let's do it. There's my name and let's pick a hair real quick. I'm going to go with uh, this one. You actually changed your hair color too and your skin color pick a warrior, mage, or rogue. I'm going to go with rogue since those are pretty much the only three things you can actually go with. I'm going to pick red dragon and I don't know why it starts like this. So the game just basically started in windows. I don't know why. Alright, I can move around with my mouse and stuff. I can automatically change it too. Um, uh, where is it? There it is. Set as default, full screen, and let's apply that. Now, let's go on and talk to this guy. Alright, so my little floating face cam was a good call because I'm pretty sure all this stuff was about to be at the bottom. At least I like watch a video of it and see how the outlay is so yeah all the text just pops up at the bottom left so it's a good thing I did check like other games you actually need to run around all right so it's no longer the like normal RPG one, it's now an actual MMO is pretty much what he's saying. How do you play this game? You know what, we, me and you're gonna throw hands, calling me a noob, how dare you. Alright, so we're gonna skip on through this and I will see you guys when we get to actual gameplay. Alright, so it seems like there's skeletons, well undead skeletons attacking people. Back in my day, <laughs> the undead were 2D. You can see that the uh, developers have quite a sense of humor of their original game. <laughs> Oh, come on. Really? Uh, well, you, you guys basically lost hope in me. <laughs> Alright, I think I might like this game. It has quite the sense of humor. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wash your mouth out with soap for that. All I wish was if this game had freaking um, dialogue, it would be amazing. So we pretty much have our standard skills over here. We can still push the number pad and everything. Yep. Still push the number pad. You have to actually click for loot. That was weird. Ah. Huh. You can double click to attack. Or you can go over here and click your skills as well. Let me just get my loot here. And you guys are alright now. Well, at least that I know of. Oh, so you actually act. Yeah, you actually have to come inside of um, your quest menu over here. Go to your quest and actually complete it. So, I'm gonna have to talk to this guy, right? 
I, I, I honestly don't want to avenge them. They can be on their own, you know? I guess when I passed you already. Oh, well, I gotta fight these guys again. Oh, God. Like, moving around with your right click is weird. I guess you would have to use your, like, left click. Alright. That didn't seem to be stealth. That didn't look like a stealth skill. For some reason, I'm jumping with my left click. It's weird. Alright, let's attack this guy too. I'm pretty sure... That's it, right? No? Wait, is it just these guys? Yeah, I had to fight certain ones, okay. Alright, so I can continue grabbing those quests if I wanted to. So the undead have it. So it does remind you a little bit of the original. It still has the same like concept. It's just that you're playing in 3D and you're actually moving around attacking. Seems I have like a little quest up here too. Now, where's the elite? I don't see him anywhere, but okay. Is he? Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. I'm just gonna pass all your little minions over here and fight you instead. So, does stealth just pretty much. Well, I, I don't even know. I don't actually, like, go invisible or anything or. Become transparent, so rip. Alright, so we completed that quest as well. Walk to the keep. Alright, so the keep is all the way down here. Alright, so there's some other players right here. So we see we have another rogue and a mage and a warrior. Alright, so we're talking to this guy now. Undead Evasion. And you have quite the evil smell there. I don't know if I want to trust you. But powerful weapons sound really nice. Find Warfiend. Where is it? Is that it? I think that's it. Yep, that's the Warfiend. I guess I'll just help out here. Don't mind me. Oh, so the little arrow right here tells you where to go. I didn't even have to fight it. Fight it, to be honest. I just had to go to that location. So saving that guy. Hey, hey. Wh why are you attacking me? What have I done to you? I know you're a Vader and everything, but, you know, this is such hostility. Oh, as you can see down here, you're, you have your little buffs right here. Why do you guys keep attacking me? I'm just trying to save people, and you guys are just attacking me for no reason. Alright, save that person. And we need one more. Hey, you. Get up. Alright, I rescued him. Alright, so... You're a jerk, so I kill you. 
That Warfiend looks quite intimidating, though. So, all I gotta do is keep following these quests that are that pop up here, I guess. I guess these guys aren't so what I'm supposed to fight. Are you guys? Yep. My bad. I clearly don't read names. Oh, I got gloves. Now, let's see if I can actually put on some gear. Inventory. Yeah, I actually have some stuff I can put on. Let's equip that and equip this. Hello there. Alright, let's finish this guy. Oh, okay, where the hell did you guys come from? I don't need... Uh, okay, never mind. I do need crawlers. Uh, where are some more crawlers? Well, uh, oh, there's one. Just sitting right there. Uh, did you drop? Okay, nope, he didn't drop loot for me. What a jerk. Alright, spare cartwheel. Oh god, I'm definitely not following things right. Oh, the cartwheel's behind you. You guys can't kill me. Quit trying. Alright, now we fight the elite skeletons that are all the way down here. Who are our fight who I was fighting at first, pretty much. Seems like everybody killed him, apparently. So I literally have to sit here and wait for them to spawn back. I gotta say, this game is pretty unique. For those of you guys who are like hardcore, you know, adventure quest fans, you'll probably enjoy this game. Like I said, it's pretty much this, still the same thing. Well, that was quick. I just came over here, joined in, got my quest done. Oh, is that a... Ooh. Yoink. Alright, so we're going to go over to this crystal. Okay, I teleported somewhere. I can teleport there right now. Something strange happened. What happened? You're a mysterious voice. Well, I still... Well, yeah, I see mysterious eyes. My world is in grave danger. What do you mean? I mean, I could have saw that coming with all the skulls everywhere. Oh my. This actually does remind you of Adventure Quest. Because you can actually remember some of these places that were actually in the game. Alright, let's open our inventories and see what we can do in here. So there's classes. Warrior, Mage, Guardian. You can buy these classes. But I'm not eligible for them apparently. Okay, I just bought war glass. So, I can pretty much just change classes and the music disappeared again, so I probably got to put my own music. So, you can actually buy classes with gold or something apparently. Cuz I'm just changing classes like it's nothing right now. <laughs> but I pretty sure I can't buy guardian. Yeah, I'm not eligible for this class. So, I just bought the rest of these classes, so it doesn't really matter what you start out with. So, yeah. Your quest log has all your quests in it, and... No, I don't think there's many... Okay. Well, I do have the necklace, but I think I just... I think I, like, ran out of it. There we go. Okay, yep. It's trying to make us go through the tutorial again. Here's your quest, ma'am. 
Alright, now what we can do is go all the way back. Alright, now that we're back, we're gonna check crafting. Uh, I don't think I can craft anything, unless I was to go all the way back, but I'm not gonna do that. I can travel to different places as the inn, or I can automatically just teleport inside of it, or I can just walk out. So I really don't have to, like, do all the main stuff. I can actually go back through the intro again, or I can go to different places. Uh, let's check our potions. Now we have some potions here, but I'm pretty sure that costs real money to actually go for. So yeah, I won't be doing that. Now we got friends, our friend list, and I'm pretty sure you can summon friends as well. You know, you got your little code right there, join you in game. And then you have join friends who've given you their code, I guess. Now, I already showed you guys the settings at the start of the game where it did all that crap. I can change the quality level and see how it is. Or I could have if I push complete. Now, it doesn't really change all that. But okay, you know, never mind. It actually changes quite a bit. I actually like that. But, let's continue on. Now, we have our upgrade where you can pretty much go through all this by your guardian or by dragon guardian or you guys can spend money on these coins and everything so yeah and let's see what else is there there's just login and exit so that's pretty much all for the main main menu and let's go over here a bit let's talk to this guy you got a quest for me I like quests all right, where are these guys? The Living Stone Caverns. All right, let's go there. We are now in a new area. Hopefully it's not an OP area that will just kill me automatically. So let's go find our little enemies over here. Or we can talk to this guy. Let's talk to this guy. Alright, now we're gonna go do our quests. If we can find them. Nope, that's not you guys. Is it this guy? Oh, yep, it's this guy. Oh god, he's level 8. He can probably kill us really quickly. Yep, probably the wrong area to be in. 100%. Alright, so you have a 10 second spot respawn. So, you can die pretty easy in this- oh my god, I'm glad I didn't die by you. But yeah, this is an area that I really shouldn't be in just yet. So I pretty much just took a high level quest. But I should probably do some quests. Probably in my re- okay, that guy just died. It's, it's nice that you can just- uh, Well, that guy was me. What? Yep, rip me. Cause that just happened. I wanna see these guys level. What is what level are you? Come back. Oh yeah, you're level six. Alright. Take it a straight U-turn back here. Doesn't really tell me the quest level, does it? No, it doesn't. It doesn't give me any level of what I should do. And I can't abandon the quest, which is even more weird. So, rip. Hey, I don't want your quest anymore. You sent me to a high level area? Man, what a jerk. Alright, let's go on an adventure. Let's just look throughout the game. There's the museum. Hopefully I don't die again in the middle of the intro, but you can't skip the intro. I just don't see why they put an enemy at the front door. Alright, you guys are just lizards chilling. 
So you pretty much have to walk through your areas. I really don't recommend that you teleport anywhere. Just walk to your different areas. It's probably the smartest idea. I didn't obey that idea. I just totally just went in and YOLO'd. Which is probably not the smartest idea. So let's accept this quest and go on our journey. And stab the dinosaur. Now there is a really lack of music around here. I mean, it would be nice if I could get more music. Oh wow. So, you, so you're just gonna fight me like that? What a jerk you are. But you had a giant pearl on you, so I'm not even gonna be angry at that. Alright, now I need two more of you guys. Meaning, I'm going to kill your friend. Or he's going to kill me, whichever one comes first. Alright, I should be good. Your HP actually comes back fairly quick. And when you level, it just instantly comes back. Uh, now then. Do you, do you have any more quests for me? Alright, sweet, you do. Now I'm going to go collect some flags, if it would tell me where these flags are. Hey, you, do you know where these flags are? I just asked you a simple question. Where are these flags? Wait, are they on bosses? They have to be on a, like elites or something. Nah, it's just on the normal enemies. So it's pretty much just, just a collect quest. Alright, so one of you guys have it, don't you? Alright, so somehow it, I collected a flag out of nowhere. I have no idea where I came from, but you know, these flying jimmies might have one. Oh, no, nah, never mind. Jimmy the Eye does not have one. I'm pretty sure this guy does. Did I grab one? Nope, I did not. Yep, oh, I got one. So we're good. Alright, now one more thing we need. Alright, is it you guys? Yep. It's you guys. What if you guys have a flag? I'm gonna find it. There's a tree, a, a magic glowing tree right in front of you. Well, you didn't drop nothing important. Okay, he just ragdolled in the air. I'm not even gonna judge it. Man, you do you. Do you You wanna fly in the air like a ragdoll? It's up to you, get. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Yep, rip. Rip. Okay, uh, well, the character, it's either die or, you know, get up and fight. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this is the most I've died in the first impression. But, like I have said, it's not a first impression unless I die at least once. This is probably the second time. Wait, will, you, will you just accept fate? Thank you. Oh, I got my quest and I'm gonna go turn it in. Or I can just turn it in now. So. You know what, we got done with like the fighting portion of it. Let's go out and see if there's anything more. So the inn is over here. Let's go check that out. Oh my, we have a maid over here. I give this game a 10 out of 10 then. So she's a battle maid. Hmm. Uh, 
well, well then. I, I won't call you that then. Because I'm pretty sure you'll kill me. Alright, so you can buy, like, standard weapons here and some potions and stuff from the end keeper, and he probably has a few quests for you. And he also has crafting as well. But you know, I don't have anything to craft. Rip. Oh god, I have hiccups. Oh dear god, I stepped into something I shouldn't have. What am I doing here? Hello? Guys, what level are you? Oh god, you're level 10. I'm out. Peace. Deuces. Why do you why do you guys leave all these places open to me? Oh. Okay, they have a rock band. But they're terrible because they aren't playing music. This is just crap. Jeez, man, you guys are terrible. But what's up here? Out of order. All right. Well then, in development, what about this room? In development. Well then, I guess the game really isn't complete. Open beta for the win. Oh god. <laughs> Open beta for the win. So a lot of things aren't like up and running right now. So let's go check a different place. The pet shop. Yes, that's what we want. A companion that will fight by our side. Nope, the pet shop is still in development too. Oh my god. What is not in development? Alright, so we already checked the training. You know what? No, we haven't. We haven't really looked all the way all in here. Hello, are you gonna train me? Rogue outfit. Can I preview it? Okay, yep, yeah, that's just a standard rogue outfit. That's a guardian outfit. But I don't have neither of those. What are you guys doing up here? You guys just chilling. Where's my rogue teacher? Is that him? Or is that it? Her? What? All right, let's see. Are you it? You must be it, right? Are you you not my teacher? No. Well then, I'm just gonna go on my way. Oh, you're my teacher. Okay. Ah, uh, what do you have in here? Rogue secrets. That's that's nice. But the question is, will you train me? Oh, I can I can gather some items, uh, actually craft. But I don't have the gold for it, so that would be a waste of time. So yeah, every like I guess teacher has something you can craft, but it doesn't seem like you can get your skills there. It's probably a lot more to the game. Let's go to the. Barber or this place. What's this place? Oh, that is in development What about the barber? Oh, so you can change your hair for 500 gold which I do not have because I am a broke newbie Magic shop. What is in a magic shop? You guys throwing spells around in here? Uh, Nope, just quest and talking Watch when you suck. You can get me your full attention. I'm a newbie. Teach me. All right, library and this place. Let's go this place first. Okay, never mind. It's in development. God darn it. This better not be in development. I shoot you. God damn it. What? What's back here? This place looks like it's not in development. Okay, never mind. It is. Oh, it's actually ha like custom how. Ah. <laughs> Apparently, I can't speak right now. It's, those are actually custom homes you can actually buy, but it's still in development, so you can't actually buy houses at the moment. So, 
that's pretty much all the game has to uh, offer in this town but I'm gonna leave it the rest to you guys to explore after I check this forge over here here I come forge up oh, somebody went inside of it so it's probably not in development sweet so let's see what we can craft in here now he has quests you can do and I hey No, yeah, he only has that, so good luck with that 5,000 gold, bro. It ain't happening for me. Now, I can't go into any of these doors, not even a floating door in the middle, so rip that. So we're just going to end it off here, guys. You know, I got to say, this game is unique, has some interesting features from the original 2D one, but... You know, I liked the 2D one because it was a classic and it, you know, it was more simple down and like, you know, thought out. This one is not yet complete, so yeah. When it's fully complete, I would probably revisit it and play it again, but as of now, it's still kind of in the early state of, you know, work in progress. I'm pretty sure the more they like work on it, the more players they'll actually get from their 2D one and more of them will be interested into this one. Now I can already see there's a lot of players who are already into the game right now and you know, have already purchased a lot of things. And there's a guy over there fighting the chicken to the corner of my screen. He's killing those poor chickens. Oh, those were the chickens I needed. Oh, oh well. So, hope you guys enjoyed my first impression. I pretty much give this game pretty much, yeah, probably a 6 or a 7 out of 10 at the moment. At the moment, but, you know, it's still no work in the progress, like I was saying. So, all they have to do is work on it a little bit more and, you know, start pushing out content. Well, more content and probably some events that other players can get into. So... Once they, you know, get everything situated and, you know, in the game, it's gonna be a lot better. So, that's pretty much my stand on this. Hope you guys enjoyed the first impression and I will see you guys next time on the next video. Peace out.